Hi there, welcome to Soul Station. I'm Bryce and in this video I'm going to show you a few different things. I'll be working on my trailer which is what I use to haul all of my stuff to my vintage markets. And then I have a couple of pieces of furniture that I'm going to be working on and at the end of the video I'll show you our spring market that I um, have a booth space in and I'll just show you a little bit of how I set it up and just what it looks like. So I hope you enjoy. off of the vanity oh thank you Lord that it didn't break and it's just resting on the vanity there so I should be able to fix that and get it back onto the frame but I have to empty everything out of here <laughs> and get my table that is back there so that I can fix it because the top got damaged uh, and so I need to get that out. So I have to pull everything out of here just to get to it. I don't know how well you can see, but there are some gouges and scratches on the top of this. So I'm going to sand it and refinish the top of this table. Hi everyone, I just picked up this hutch for free on Craigslist yesterday and so today I'm going to be working on getting this ready for our market which is only three days away. So I'm really kind of scrambling but this piece I feel like it was an answer to prayer because I'm kind of short on the furniture that I have and this piece although it's not you know like a rare antique it's going to be great for me to display all of our small items and our uh, beautiful Hosanna Revival Bibles and journals that we sell. So let me show you this piece and then I'll tell you what I'm going to do with it. So there are two parts to it, the bottom, and it's got these two big drawers which open up. And they're really uh, nice and deep. And then the top has a beadboard on the back. And there's a little bit of damage, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, because I'm going to be using this for display, so I will have things propped in front of it anyway. The color, <laughs> the color just won't quite match my booth space, so I'm going to paint it. And I picked up some paint from Walmart, and I've, I have not used this paint before. Walmart had a whole bunch of paint on sale, and this big can of paint was only $10. Um, it's an eggshell. It's a paint and primer in one, and it looks like it's made by Rust-Oleum. So, like I said, I've never used it before. I'm gonna give it a shot. So the first thing I'm gonna do is give this a really good clean. Right before a market, I always tend to feel myself starting to have a little bit of anxiety and worry that I don't have enough furniture or I don't have enough whatever and I have to stop and remind myself not to think like that. The truth is that God will provide in every way when I trust in Him and He always has and I know that because He is so faithful like providing this free hutch. I cannot believe it you guys. I have not ever found a piece like this for free. This is actually only the second piece of furniture that I've ever found for free. 
I know that the Lord has led me to do this and so I know that he will always provide everything that I need to accomplish it because wherever the Lord leads and guides, he will provide. After giving this a couple of coats of paint, I am sanding the finish off the top of the wood here and I'm going to stain it and give it a different look. God's word says that he is looking for those who he can show himself strong in and something that I've learned since stepping into the vision or the calling that he has given me is that is so true you guys he will be so faithful and provide and do incredible things if you will just believe and then take those small steps of faith towards it or big steps what whatever it is that leads you to do whatever the Lord is calling you to do this piece took five total coats of paint to completely cover all that green paint and now I'm just staining the top and then I'm going to do a white wax over it to seal it. Here you can see it with the white wax and without the white wax. For this little table, I did the same thing. I stained it with the same color and then I did a white wax over that. When I'm setting up my booth space, I like to get my walls placed, my lights hung, and the big pieces of furniture laid out. Here I'm just adding some spring touches into some of these glass jars that I have. Use battery operated candles to add light to all of the spaces in my booth. So this is the next day and I'm walking in to just kind of finish up before we open. I've got about 45 minutes and you can see here everybody is kind of hustling to get their booth space put together. It takes me at least a full day before so I need that extra day to get my space set up. So uh, here it is and you can see I've got pretty much everything in place. I'm just going to do some last minute touches here. Um, I need to turn on my lights which are always tricky trying to find the extension cords and get them plugged in and then I just added some Valentine's touches as well because this is uh, I think we were two days, no, we were about three days before Valentine's Day.
I have a couple other videos of setting up my booth space that has a little bit more detail if you're interested in that and I will link that video at the end here. I really like the color of how this hutch turned out. It's not too white or too creamy colored. I think it's just perfect for displaying things on it and I'm happy with the wood the way that turned out on the top too. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Thank you for watching and God bless. I hope that you got some encouragement and some good ideas here.